1. The departure of Saint God and Bab Paul, the first hermit, on this day of the year 341 AD, the great Saint and Bab Paul, the first hermit, departed. His sin was from the city of Alexandria and had a brother whose name was Peter. After the part, after the part, the depart of the father, they divided in the they divided the the inheritance between them. When his brother took the greater share, Paul's feelings were hurt by his brother's action. He said to his brother, "When don't you give me rightful share of the inheritance of my father?" Peter responded, "You are a young man." And I'm afraid that you might squander it. As for me, I will keep for it, I will keep it for you. When they did not agree with each other, they went to the governor to judge between them. On their way, they saw a funeral procession. Paul asked one of the mourners about the deceased man. Paul was told that he was one of the noble and rich people of the city and that he left his riches and his wealth behind and that they were taking him to bury him with only his garment. Paul sighed Paul sighed in his heart and said to himself, What do I have to do then oh, then with all the money of this temporal world which I shall leave naked? He looked to his brother and said to him, My brother, let us return, for I shall not ask you for anything, not even for what is mine. On this, on their way, on their way back, Paul left his brother and went on his way until he came out to the city. Paul found a grave where he stayed for three days, praying to the Lord, praying to the Lord, cursed to guide him to what pleases him. As for his brother, he said for Paul diligently. And when he did find him, he was very sorry for what he had done. God sent God sent Saint Paul an angel who took him who took him out of this place and walked with him until they reached the estate in the wilderness. He stayed there for seventy years, during which he served one one. He put on to, he put on a tunic made of palm tree fiber. The Lord sent him a raven every day which with a half loaf of bread. When the Lord wanted to reveal the holiness of Saint Paul and his righteousness, he sent his angel to Saint Anthony the Great, who thought that he was the first to dwell in the wilderness. The angel taught Saint Anthony, there's a man who lives in the inner wilderness. The word is not worthy of his footsteps by his prayers. The Lord brings rain. The Lord, the Lord brings rain, and dew to fall on the earth, and bring the flood of the Nile on its due season. When Saint Anthony, when Saint Anthony heard this, he rose right away and went to in the wilderness, a distance for one day's walk. God guided him to to the, to the cave of Saint Paul. He entered. And they would bow to each other and sat down talking about the greatness of the Lord. In the evening, the raven came bringing a whole loaf of bread. St. Paul said to St. Anthony, now, now I know that you are one of the children of God for seventy years. The Lord has been sending to me every, every day half a loaf of bread, but today, the Lord is sending you food also. Now go and bring me back in a hurry the two that the Emperor of Constantine had given to Pope Athanasius. Saint Anthony went to Saint Athanasius and brought the tunic from him and returned to Saint Paul. On his way back, he saw the soul of Saint Paul carried by the angels up to heaven. When he arrived to the cave, he found that. Saint Paul has depart, had departed from the world, from this world. He kissed him, whipped him, and clothed him in the tunic that he asked for, and he took his barber tunic. When Saint Anthony wanted to bury Saint Paul, he wondered how how could he dig the grave. Two lions entered the cave 
bowed their heads before the body of St. Paul and shook their hands as if they were asking St. Anthony what to do. St. Anthony knew that they were sent from God. He moved the length and width from the, from the body of the gun, and they dug the grave with the clothes according to St. Anthony's directions. St. Anthony then buried the holy body and went back to Pope Athanasius and told him what had happened. St. Athanasius sent men to bring St. Paul's body to him. They spent several days searching in the mountains, but they, bring, but they could not find the vision, but they could not find the place on his, of his grave. St. Paul appeared to the Pope in a vision and told him that the Lord would not allow the revelation of the location of his body. He asked the Pope not to trouble the men, but to have back, but to have them back, back but to have them brought back. Pope Athanasius, Pope Athanasius used to put the palm, the palm fiber tunic on three times a year during the Divine Liturgy, one way, one time. He wanted to let the people know about the holiness of the owner of the tunic. He put it over dead men and the dead men rose up instantly. The news of this miracle spread all around the land of the Egypt of Egypt. His prayers with us Amen. Two on this day also the pure sign the pure sin and Bagulinus, the abode of the Al Suga Monastery departed. He was from Kidikia in Asia Minor. He became a monk in one of the monasteries where his father Lucianus became a monk after his wife had died. When the abbot of this monastery departed, the monks wanted to appoint St. Lucianus and abbot of them, but he refused. For his son, the fine, glo the fine glory of the world, he took this son Longinus and went to Syria, where they lived in a church. God revealed the features by performing many miracles to them. For fear of the fame glory of this world, Longinus went to Egypt with his father's permission. When he arrived, he went to the monastery of El Zugak, west of Alexandria. The monks received him with joy. After the departure of the boat, the monks appointed the Anbalogilus about Anbalogilus out over them, but what for what they saw of his features and his good conduct. Shortly after, his father Lucianus came to him and they worked together in making the canvas shells of of words and sold them to support themselves. God performed many miracles and signs on their heads. Father Lucianus departed from this world in peace and so the after his son Anbalonginus departed also. The, the birth of these two saints be with us and glory be to our God forever. Amen.